So today I'm going to do a IS1, which is presentation of financial statement. So before we go to our example of the question that I have for today, we must go through uh, some principles that first you have to understand before you answer the question. Remember, each and every question comes from a principle. We must first understand the principle so that we will apply a scenario. All right. What well, so? Firstly, why do we have this uh, IS1? All right. What happened in IS1 is that in line with conceptual framework, IS1 set out to ensure that information are presented to users of financial statement. So IS1 is set in a way that a um, financial statement will be useful to those who want to use a financial statement. For example, we have uh, a stakeholders like uh, investors remember if you want to invest into a company you must first check a financial statement so for example if the companies are preparing financial statement the way they pleased how are we going to see that this one is a income statement this one is a balance sheet we can be able to see that if the companies are preparing it in a different way so in terms of IS1, they said income statement must be prepared in this way. Balance sheet must be prepared in this way so that a, a stakeholder can be able to compare a financial statement for company A and for company E. So that's the main object of this standard. So we have a characteristics which you have to understand inside and out so that you will be able to answer the question all right number one we have um, fairly presented and comply with a phrase so when you prepare financial statement it must be fairly presented and it must comply with other standard all right for example it must be free from bias uh, for example let's say we have a, a Directors who depend, whose, whose bonuses depend on a profit of the company. So, a directors know that if the companies go up, the bonus is going to go up. So, in that case, um, it can happen that the director um, um, understate or overstate some of income or expense in order for him to obtain a higher profit. In income statement so that he can get a, a higher bonus which is not allowed it must be free from bias it must be free from errors and financial statement must be complete all right think about this scenario in in the 2022 reporting period materiality was set of 1 million for company a then scenario number one in preparation of 2019 annual financial statement, accountant include amount of 800,000 that was received from a customer for a service to be provided in 2020 reporting period. Scenario number two, in preparation of 2019 annual financial statement, accountant include an amount of 1.2 million that was received from customer for service to be provided in 2020 reporting period. Now the question, based solely to above Discuss if fair presentation is achieved in the annual financial statement of company A for 2019 reporting period scenario number one and number two. All right, let's go back to the first scenario. On the first scenario, remember the the accountant include eight hundred thousand that was received for customer for service to be provided in the next year. Remember if the uh, we even deliver anything to the customer, which means that that amount must not be included. But in the scenario number one, the amount will not be material. Why? Because it's less than set of one million. However, in scenario number two, he included amount of one point two million, which is above one million. This amount will be material. A procedure uh, to determine this amount must be made. All right, which means that in other words, when they say it is material, which means that they need to take it into a consideration. There is no way that they can ignore the amount which is above what? Materiality. All right. 
next let's proceed a presentation of annual financial statement must be on going concern basis what is going concern basis going concern basis we are talking about a, a preparation of financial statement which after that must be uh, indicated that the company has a future going on or the company is doubtful that it can continue to operate in the future so that's the going concern basis all right so let's proceed what happened if um, a company uh, is having a doubt that the they can continue to operate in the near future which means that the company must um, disclose or must write down that there is a doubt that the company can continue to operate why they have to do so remember an investor must know the truth about the company before they take the decision all right so for example you own one million from betway being a responsible person, you decided, you decided to invest the fund in one local companies and you obtain copy of their annual financial statement and other relevant information and perform your assessment. You are AP, then you invest. However, later months, you read the local newspaper that the company you invested is in closing the shops. Have you actually been planning to do so? They have actually planning to do so. In the past two years it was just kept as a secret how are you going to feel in that case of course you're not going to feel a uh, well why because the company's uh, information misleaded you they didn't tell you uh, about the going concern or how the company is going to well, what what is actually happening to the company so it's not allowed according to is1 it must be fairly represented and the going concern must be stated after preparing those uh, financial statement all right the other important things it must be prepared using accrual basis what is accrual basis when we're talking about accrual basis we are we mean that a transaction must be recorded irregardless of cash item if we purchase an item on credit we have to ignore that the we have been paid but we have to record what the inventory except for what for cash flow statement remember cash flow statement deal with only cash item however if we are talking about income statement balance it and other notes we record even though we don't have what we didn't receive or we didn't pay what cash <laughs> all right then let's proceed before we go to um, our question offsetting when they refer to offsetting, they mean that a company should open up about, for example, net profit of the company. They must not just indicate that the net profit is 500000 They have to show that the sales was so much and the cost of sales was so much. Unless um, it was permitted by I phrase that's where you can be allowed to do it to, to offset other than that it's not allowed to hide some of amount all right so let's go to the second current and vs non-current classification all right we have um, a non-current assets we have current assets non-current liability and current liability so as an accounting student, you know that if we are talking about non-current assets, we are talking about assets which last longer than 12 months. So current assets is less than 12 months. So the question is, what happens if um, it takes more than 12 months to manufacture inventory? Are we going to classify it as a non-current assets or current assets? The answer is, we are going to classify it as a current assets. Inventory is current assets as always it doesn't matter whether it take more than 12 months or less than 12 months all right then the other information which uh, is very important to is one a good financial statement must have the following name of the entity name of the statement or a report 
financial statement of the group or individual. You have to indicate that this one is for group statement, this balance sheet is for individual company. It must provide a, a date or a period of report. All right, it must also indicate or represent the currency. You don't just write a, an amount of 5,000. You must indicate that it's 5,000 rand or 5,000 US dollar. All right, let's go to um, our example of the question. All right, let's go to our example of the question so that I will show you how do you use your standard. All right, we have a question. So, um, we have a financial statement and we also have what? And information all right let's go to a required part with the reference to above information briefly discuss the concern that you may have in respect of accounting treatment and presentation of financial statement recommended corrective treatment and present where is necessary all right remember all those uh, items that we were discussing we have to apply in this uh, question all right Let's read. You are financial accountant of Umtoto LTG, a real estate company listed on JSA with the 2 December reporting period end. The following information was provided to you by a junior accountant for the year ended the 2 December 2019. So, this company is listed on JSA, which means that it, it is a must to comply with what? With IFRS. Alright, they were given a balance sheet. Statement, extra statement of financial position, 31 December 2019. All right. Then, number one, statement of compliance. The financial statement for the year and 31 December comply with IFRS. Then number two, we have basis presentation, preparation. Number three, we have note. All right. Now, before we go, uh, let's go back to our financial statement. Is this financial statement prepared according to the IS1? No. Why? All right. Let's go to our standard. Let's go to paragraph 25 to 32. So this is a textbook that you are allowed to get in with a into exam. Okay. This is your standard. You have to go to your standard. All right, let's go to uh, para 50 before that one. All right, now here is our standard para 50. Okay, according to para 50, an entity shall clearly identify each financial statement and the notes. In the edition, entity shall display the following information prominently and repeat it when necessary the information presented to the understandable number one they said the name of the reporting entity or other means of identification and any change in the information from the end of preceding reporting period the statement that we had it doesn't have a name of the entity which means that we must um we must write down this complaint that this entity didn't write the name all right, number B, para 50, number B, whether the financial statement are individual or, or a group, they didn't indicate, which means that they didn't comply with a para 51B, which means that you have to raise this issue. Number C, the date of the end of reporting period, this one they did comply. All right, number D, presentation currency is defined in IS21. They didn't represent which currency are they using, which means you have to raise this issue. All right, number E, the level of rounding using presentation amount in the financial statement. They didn't indicate um, this part. So, um, the important of using the, the standard is that you can claim each and every part, which means that um, if you got a question into exam, you have to... To, to go to your standard and check 
out uh, this para you must be a, a quick student because uh, you can't page this textbook for for more than an hour so that's how you, you should apply so what you do firstly you quote um, a line from this para then after that you apply with the scenario and this in the scenario you're gonna say uh, um to ltd didn't write the name of the entity to to the financial statement all right let's go back to, um, to the question all right so we have a note uh, they say it basis basis of preparation the financial statement of umto to ltd for the year ended 31 december 2019 are consistently prepared ongoing content basis from year to year so on this one you must raise para and let's go back i think it's para 51 para 25 is if i'm not mistaken para 25 all right a going content guys that's where you have to go and check if the company comply with the going content so we also have a para 27 accrual basis of accounting 29 materiality and so on and so on so guys mostly a uh, most cases or most question in terms of is one you have to understand inside and out para 51 para 25 para 26 27 28 29 because that's the most uh, important part that uh, they, they mostly test a student. So you must understand uh, the student. All right. So uh, let's go to, to the note. All right, number N1. Inventory consists of apartment currently under construction for reselling purpose. The construction normally takes 24 months to complete. So, in this one, they indicated inventory under non-current assets. Is it allowed? No, it's not allowed. If you go back to, to the slide that I was reading, you will see the paragraph that you have to quote. So, Number N2, Umtoto LTD has no access to overdraft facilities. Number N3, uh, included in the profit for the year ended 31 December is an amount of 100000 that was received from customer as a deposit for an apartment that will be constructed for March 2020. The financial accountant included this deposit in the statement of profit or loss to improve the reporting figure since Umtoto was in the process of applying the loan towards the end. So this is very wrong. The accountant included the amount of 400,000 which was received from customer. However, the construction is not yet delivered. So this this must considered as a what income received in advance. It's not what is not recognized as a revenue in terms of IFRS 15. Because it, uh, we have as a company we haven't delivered, which means that in this case uh, we will have issue of materiality. We will have issue of going content. Going content is not yet is not um, considered in a good way because the amount that was included is incorrect. So even the statement of compliance will be incorrect we have to to raise this issue so that's what you you mostly have to understand in terms of i phrase is one so i will do other videos i will try to to check other important startup so i will do the video and try to explain what we have to know thank you